the ultimate queen of clean, Kim Woodburn and lifestyle expert Mike Shalou are on a serious mission. Their goal? To identify and confront messy and disorganized families and bring some sanity back into their lives and homes. This time, Kim and Mike take on the Ta family. Dad Cameron, an IT specialist, Mom Catherine, an English language instructor, and their two kids, 10-year-old Colbert and 8-year-old Christopher. Get up, come on, let's help. The state of my home is chaotic and it's so messy. Living like this is quite stressful. Mounds of junk, Hell's Own Kitchen, and piles of laundry all make the Taz unwanted guests feel right at home. Those guests? Bugs. Lots and lots of bugs. There is bugs, insects around the house, and that bothers me the most. Dad Cameron's solo effort to stay on top of the bugs and the mess is a losing battle. Get up and help. Come on. If I can wake up, I'll help you. I, I just uh, want to be relaxed and be lazy. I don't like to clean. Are you going to do the dishes tonight? No, I'm so tired, honey. Let's do it tomorrow. If my spouse or my family member is not taking initiative action, it actually make me more angry. Absolutely no drawing again to any wall. I'm not that good at cleaning. And I'm lazy. I already start the other low. Come on. I'm tired, Cam. And much like his house, Cameron's marriage is becoming a disaster as well. Yes, I've seen them argue about the mess because they every time they get frustrated and they're like, oh, we can't find this, we can't find that. I need some help. I need, I need a solution. I picture myself in a year or two in this messy house. I don't think I can take it. So he's called Kim and Mike for a rude awakening. Come on, Mike. Good morning, Tom family. We hear your house is full of disgusting bugs. You have no floors. They're full of laundry and trash. We're here to stamp out your bugs, clean up your house, and hopefully mend your relationship. This is your room. I'm confused. All right, let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Tom family. Yes. Welcome to our warm and cozy home. Some welcome this is, isn't it? Yes. Now, we walk in here before we even got through the door. This is dreadful. Don't try to be ourselves. Your cells are untidy slobs. Is that what you want to be? Slobs. And this isn't normal. It's not normal. Kim, let's go see the rest of this house. Okay. Get okay, in. Okay, come on, Kim. Not words for you. I'm, 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 the way you smile. God, what, Kim, don't trip, time. darling. Oh my gosh. Oh, look. Can you call this a kitchen? It may be a joke, but it's not a joke. This is dreadful. But their chronic untidiness is the least of their problems. You've got bugs in this house. Mm. You've got ants, you've got cockroaches. Have you any idea why you've got them? We are very clean. Are you happy to live in with all these bugs? No. You've got to be honest, if your dad's asked us to come, he must be quite sad at this, mustn't he? So you prepare to work with your dad and you. I can do it. Why not? Just tell him. Yes, you do, Just honey. tell him. No, 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 no. And this is He's affecting your relationship. This is affecting the relationship. Okay. He said, she said, oh boy. Now. Enough. Let's see the rest of this house. Right, come on. Okay. Let's go down here. What is going on this is down? Terrible. This is terrible. absolutely no, this appalling. Way, this, way. this is not a family room. This is laundry this is everywhere. How could any human being survive? Oh my no, gosh. This is so cozy. You can cozy? Just lie down and help what? yourself. Well, you know it's stopping, don't you? Because we have come here for a mission to get you all tidy. You have a vacuum buried in here, too. You know, vacuum the clothes? Oh, we're vacuuming the insects. So you think it's fair right, for your know. children to crawl the floors, look for clothes? This you can do that. This is the Ta family, so... This is the Ta this family? This is the way we are. No, yeah, no, 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 shh, shh. Kim is speaking. You know, you're not taking the situation seriously, and that worries me. I just confuse. I, I don't want to do it. And the situation isn't much better in the so-called games room. This is supposed to be a games room? How, how are you supposed to play a game? Is this a ping pong table under there? Wouldn't you love, boys, <sighs> to bring your mates in to play ping pong? Yeah. Yeah. I had my friends over, but not a lot because the, my house was so dirty, so we had to go to their house. But you got to help us tidy, give some stuff to charity, throw some stuff out, and we'll get the place lovely for you. Red Kim, can you do it for us and we can sit back and relax? Oh, 
Should I? You hold her, I'll give it a good smack. Oh, God. Don't listen, listen. And I'm a gentle listen. soul. I'm a gentle I know, soul. I know. You know this is a disaster. Stop your nonsense. Enough is well, enough. Hard, Kim, right? don't get upset, do you know please. I don't want you to. This is one of Kim and Mike's toughest assignments yet. They need to teach the Taws how to tackle their mountain of laundry, declutter the kitchen, get rid of the bugs, and get Catherine and the kids to finally help Cameron with all the work. There's no doubt in my mind that there's love in this family. I think so. But there's no communication. You do that relationship. I'm going to sort the bugs out in this house. Oh, disgusting creatures. Absolutely. And what else were you going to do? Well, I'm going to teach them to get all the muck off their walls. They've got crayon all over the place. <coughs> and generally sort... Yep. Yeah. <coughs> there's a bug! There's a bug! Where, where, where? There's a bug! Oh, get out, oh. you big sissy! Oh. First on Kim and Mike's list for the family, get the bugs out. I have seen bugs, and I don't like it. Uh, I don't even know how people can survive with them. The kids is complaining, Mom, I, I'm afraid. I said, it's OK. Just throw them outside. Kim and Mike have a close encounter of the creepy, crawly kind planned to scare Ma and Pa Ta straight. This is their wake-up call. You two are going to pay a price today, aren't you? Under all your washing, in your kitchen, cockroaches. Oh, yikes. No. <sighs> Please get fully clothed. You take this so lightly. It's no, it's not, it's horrible. And we're concerned about your kids. <laughs> How could any human being survive? Oh, my no, gosh. The Ta family live in a disaster zone. Their marriage is in a state of emergency. Get up and help. Come on. If I can wake up, I'll help you. And to top it all off, they have a bug problem of hazardous proportions. Are you happy to live in with all these bugs? No. But with their next lesson, the bug issue is about to get worse. It's time for you to pay the price. The Ta kids are tired of living with bugs, and with Kim and Mike's help, they'll show their parents how it feels to be so intimate with insects. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Come on, come on. I find this very romantic, actually. And they're lucky these bugs look a lot nastier than they actually are. To use the brains out of husband and wife, close your mouth. Oh, get them on them. Now stay still and close your mouth. Now there'll be no more bugs crawling around your house anymore. These things that repulse you, so if you don't like them, don't have them anymore. All right. No, have you learned your lesson? Have you? Right. Yes. right. I learned that we have to uh, seriously think of uh, cleaning the house. This is a good lesson. It's for us and for the kids too. Han, we have to do it. This is serious. No, it is extremely serious. And enough is enough. Bugs. Not nice. Not nice. Now that Catherine has had her wake-up call, Kim is going to give Ma Ta some tips for dealing with her six-legged squatters. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, I'll tell you why I've got a deep jar. You can use raisins. My favorite. Like feeding a chimp. Mm, now. Thanks, Mom. We break up the banana, and I'm going to smear it around here as well. Does smell it? And they'll climb in. Yes. In they drop. Munch, 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 munch. Yes. Okay. But, but now we don't want them to get out, do we? Yes. No. Right, so you take Vaseline. So, oh my God, when they get in here, they're wow. going to have a rude awakening, my dear. All dry, in they go. They'll fall over. Yeah. Right? They might even get stuck halfway down. Who cares? Yes. They'll get down to the banana. How could those cockroaches get out of all that thick gump? And then when no. there's loads in there, do you yes. see? You put the top on. Yes. He, he, he. Here goes. In the bin. <laughs> Suckers. That's great. I learned a lot of new stuff. You know, I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Your big eyes scare me, Mum. That's it. <laughs> I'm going away. Leave me alone. Never think about that. It's that easy and it's the, the thing that you can get it from the store and it's, it's cheap. With Kim's bug trap in place and the bugs on the run, Cameron and Catherine turn to another sore spot, their communication skills. If this continues, I think maybe the family will break off and uh, the, the boys will have a broken family. Looks like Ma and Pa Ta need a serious relationship rescue. Morning, my two new beautiful students. Morning, sir. Welcome to Relationships 101. Do you love your husband? Yes. Do you love your wife? Yes, sir. Now, do you respect your husband? Not really. What do you mean you don't respect your husband? 
I don't think about his feelings. And how does that make you feel? Sad. Did you hear what he just said? Now, do you respect your wife? Yes, I do. In order for your relationship to move forward, there's a key ingredient that is missing here, and this is what I think is the biggest problem in this household. The word is communication. Communication. Write that okay. down. I'm about to say that. You were about to say um, that. Oh, of course you were about to say that. This is going to be the Ta Family Communication Task Chart. Everyone's name is going to go in here. And then everyone in the same color as that name, they're going to have the task and the chore they have to do on each day. I want you to do the basic things you need done in this house. Okay. Dishes. Laundry. Yeah, I need a maid. You so, need a maid? You need a maid. You have to be a maid. OK. You have to be. That's it. <laughs> Your wife is not your mate. All right. Class is dismissed. This we is your homework. We can't without you. Shush. This chart is really great, but because we never think of that before. I think if we keep up to the decision that we have here, I think that will be perfect. So this will be our family motto, clean as you go. With a new family chart and a motto, Cam and Catherine get down to some serious cleaning. Oh, Cam, you are collecting so much junk. Like, do you need this? Nah. Christopher and Colbert, on the other hand, have been using their time to indulge their artistic side. Kim's having none of it and is showing the boys how to remove their unwanted masterpiece and suggests a new canvas. Now, children, this is disgraceful. You're too old to be doing this now. But I'm going to show you. If you want to draw on something, have fun drawing each other's faces. It washes off easily with soapy water and a washcloth. You're not damaging anything. Let's see how artistic you both are. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Stay still for him. Stay still for him. Quite clever, you, you know. Turn around and have a look at you both, you boys. Oh, with his glasses, it's gorgeous. Oh! <laughs> What's it look like? <laughs> oh, Bear, stop looking at yourself. Don't be so vain. What point am I making to you boys? Now, I'm going to show you. This is hairspray. Let's loosen it, my love. Let's loosen it. Crayon is extremely hard to get off, and lacquer is very sticky. Lacquer is pulling the crayon off the wall because it's sticky. Now, this was an extremely bad wall. I've gone from here, and it's lovely and clean. This is an awful thing. I promise you'll never do it again. I promise I won't do it again. Good boy. You kept taught me about drawing about walls that it's not good because it takes all our effort to take it out. Even though doing our face is not right, we still can wash it, though. It's back to the kitchen for Catherine, where Kim will help her deal with the excess dishes that create Hell's Own Kitchen. And another tidy excuse for not cleaning up. Two sets is utterly sufficient for a family. Only two? Two sets of crockery and the cutlery. And the more we clear out, the quicker you're going to be prepared to use your dishwasher, aren't you? It's true. That's all chipped, isn't it? This is going away, yeah. Come on, I've got a surprise for you. Kim, Catherine, it's time to get rid of the dishes. I hate dishes. Yes, get rid of it. Up, 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 a safety wow. first. I there we go. Safety first. Here. It's out with the old, in with the new. Go, up. Wow. OK, let's go. Oh. You know, you're putting years on me. Get in here. Get in the house. No. Years. The Taws are on the road to clean, but it's been a bumpy ride. You have to be a maid. Your wife is not your maid. But Catherine's not getting it either. It's great. I was thinking to use it whenever I don't feel like washing dishes. Just ha ah hoo and then throw it. But Kim isn't ready to throw in the towel, so she gets Catherine cleaning the proper way, starting with the kitchen. Don't put hard food in there. Uh -oh. Come on, stack. Stop. Just keep me talking. That's one load down, but there's still a few dozen loads to go when Kim and Mike make the Taz face their mountain of laundry. That laundry pile has been there for a few months. This has gone far enough, all this, hasn't it? Laundry does not belong on the floor. Laundry belongs in a laundry basket. You wonder why you have bugs? Take it to your rooms. At least we've got this floor clear. Watch out for the bugs. Come on, come on. Attack the job. Oh, oh watch what you're doing. You're going to take his eye out. Watch my hair. We're leaving Goodbye, you to Mike. it. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. I can't carry it, Kim. Help me. No. 
Now Kim uh, teach us how to handle it together. So. Can't do it anymore. I'm going to quit. Kim, I'm quitting. You do my job. Even though Catherine may be struggling, the Taws have been given the tools to tackle the laundry, trap the bugs, divide the chores, and clean the kitchen. But will they be ready for the final challenge? Top family, this is your final challenge. Those floors are gonna be so squeaky clean that you're gonna be able to have a picnic. You're gonna be able to eat a meal off your lounge floor. Now, we've taught you the tips, we've shown you what to do, we've given you a fright with the bugs. Now, fill that dumpster, get out. Come on, I'm coming back, I want everything done, the playroom done, no dishes. The bug's out. Let's party. Shh, stop. Oh, I know. I know. You are a chatty Cathy. Oh, Get in there. 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 Cameron and the boys dive right into the challenge. <laughs> Catherine, on the other hand, doesn't even know where to begin in this family-created chaos. I find it's, it's very hard because I don't know where to start. Sometimes I feel like, how to say, crying or whatever because I, I'm just confused. I know Catherine wants to, to help out, but because she doesn't know how or doesn't know where, so that put her in a very difficult situation. Cameron is determined to help his wife, Catherine, focus on the task at hand, the games room. Let's go through the stuff and see what need to keep, what need to go. One of the big jobs will be clearing the clutter by getting rid of what they no longer use. It's just my personality. I never draw things away. The memory on every different age, so we can't keep them all. Need to go. There's less than a day left, and Cameron desperately wants his house clean for their guests. But Colbert and Christopher are starting to crack under the pressure of their newfound chores. I'm checking it. Okay, Cole, can you go back to your own room? No. Let's cool them down. Yeah, the boys seems like not uh, participating well. They just playing along and uh, resting in the room. Yeah, at the moment, I'm disappointed. The Taws are in the middle of their final challenge. They need to turn their bug-infested house into a home clean enough to eat right off the floor. Going along, but uh, looks like still more to come. To get this task done, all of the Taws have to be involved. But right now, the two boys, Christopher and Colbert, have fallen back on old habits. Do you know what to do? To that box, unwanted item here. Okay. You're not leaving the room until you finish all of this. Same instruction with, to Colbert. You're not leaving the room until you're done. At least mom is staying the course. Catherine is uh, keeping up very well, and she uh, mainly is in the, uh, in the in the library. I mainly do it in the basement. So, whoa, what's this? That's the boys, uh, they in gears. <laughs> With a little encouragement from dad, the two youngest Taws are back on track. Next will be the stove. The whole family is finally working together, and it's not just the junk leaving the house. The bugs are on their way out as well. Never expected this uh, stressful. It's lots of hard work. And they hope all that hard work has paid off as Kim and Mike and all their family and friends arrive to see the house. Oh my gosh, it's full. The whole house has been emptied into here. Wow, come on. <laughs> First up, though, the theater of shame. This is the Ta family theater of shame. We never want you to forget this. We have bugs. More bugs. Horrifying. This would be, oh, this would be your kitchen. What was once a dirty, disgusting kitchen that attracted all sorts of creepy crawlies has become a clean, livable space that Taz will be happy to share a meal in. <laughs> Laundry. It's unbelievable. <laughs> The living room that was once so cluttered with laundry that you couldn't see the floor has become an inviting space fit to entertain friends and family alike. There's your basement, much of a playroom. I mean, 
The basement, formerly a forgotten no man's land of old and unused stuff, has been transformed into rooms Christopher and Colbert can be proud to entertain their friends in. You've done your work, you now do your play. Show off that house. Oh, this is... Come in, uh, folks. A oh. fresh, functioning <laughs> kitchen. This is so lovely, it really is. The Taws have passed their final challenge with flying colours. Time to eat right off the floor. Having friends over with a clean house, with organised, that feels great. Everything is done, it's tidy, we can sit back, relax, have a home that we can really invite friends over, relatives over, to share. Yeah. So next time we can come all of us over. You tell me you're good. Well, oh. well, oh. I think me and my brother are going to use the basement more often because it's a welcoming room and we can play ping pong. It's nice to see you two together. Eating on the floor because it's so clean you can. I think our job's done here. It's been lovely meeting the staff. No, stay yeah, there. Stay there. You guys stay. Yeah. stay Cheers, right. scene two. Thank, Thank you very much. much. It's been lovely meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. Finally, we have a, a clean, tidy home. No more works. Meet the Burns. Mom Catherine runs a home based business, Jamie the dad works in recycling, and they have two children, Samantha and Drew. Kim and Mike are on their way to help dig out this family who are buried alive under a mountain of mess. Oh, nice. A chicken bone. And that mess is driving them all mad. Help me! You're standing there, too! Well, I'm just waiting for the boss to tell me what to do. Clutter is the name of the game at this house, and no matter where you look, there's no escaping it. You walk in, you're tripping over shoes or gym bags or dog's leashes. It's crazy. What are you doing? Playing my game. Really looks like you're doing a great job on your room. My mom is uptight. She gets frustrated very easily. Why should I spend my day off working my tail off to clean a whole house that nobody's going to help to keep up? But it's hard to keep up when someone in the house is a shopaholic. My mom loves to shop. Sometimes she goes overboard with it. Buying more and more, we have no room to put it. Samantha would say, Mom, I'm needing some pants. Well, I'll go and buy her 14 pairs of pants. Mega mess is leading to super stress for the entire family. I don't even know what to do anymore. I've had it. She's screaming and yelling at the kids. Well, you just want to turn around and go back and say you don't want to come in the house. Catherine wants out from under the mess and to finally put an end to all the infighting. This is so overwhelming. And you try every single day and it doesn't get anywhere. Catherine decided it's time to call Kim and Mike to give her family a much-needed rude awakening. Good morning, Burns family. Kim and Mike here. We hear you're being buried alive by all your junk. You're hiding behind a ghastly mess. It's a madhouse, and you're too embarrassed to have friends over, and you should be. This is your rude awakening. Oh, come on, come on. Put it out. Hello? Oh, Mrs. Burns? Yes? No wonder you've sent for us. Look at this Let's dump. Go. Look at this! Oh, my. This is some kind of a joke, woman, isn't it? I've heard you're a shopaholic. Um, a little bit. Not a little bit, dear, a lot. Don't tell pork pies. You're throwing good money away. Even our queen doesn't behave like this. Disgrace! <sighs> and you children, you do your own washing? Does he clean the kitchen? If someone's looking at him and yelling at him. Oh, you're one of those, are you? Hey, what's this? Why have you organized this, then? That's part of my business. What do you do, dear? I do home parties, lingerie and sensual products. Oh, boy. Lingerie and sensual. Sensual product? What's it say? Sensual. Sensual. Sensual? Yes. Yes. Oh, don't open it. I can't look. I'm too innocent. <laughs> Shut up. It'd be nice to actually do a party here at my home, but I can't invite anyone into my home. It's pretty sad, but it's the truth, and I don't want to live in it any longer. You've got a one-track mind, dear. A dirt track. Let's go. Show us what's next. Oh, don't look. It's time to tour the mess to see what the fuss and fighting is all about. Up first is the kitchen. Let's see. Oh. Can you not smell the... No. Stop it. Now, you know that's vastly overpacked, don't you? Um, yeah, I yeah. guess so. And I know you've got a family of four, but by buying all this food, wasting your money, half it's going to go off. You spend a thousand a month on groceries. Yeah, you don't eat that much, darling. You'd no. be you'd be out here, darling. We wouldn't we'll get to the door. Let's go. Well, there's awful lot to do in this kitchen. Come on. Come on. Let's get up and see these tidy bedrooms you tell watch me you've got. Watch out for the stairway. Just don't, don't fall. Dear Lord. I don't want you to... Kids, you pick up it to yourself. What is this? 
What is this carry on here? You climb over this to go to bed at night. Yes, we do. Which room's yours, dearie? How do you guys live like this? Well, watch this. Oh, jeez. Mind the cats. You need all this stuff here. No. Then why haven't you put it in the garbage? I don't know. Because you can't be bothered, can you? Lazy bones. These are really cute stuffed animals, but they're uh, gonna they're collecting dust, they're collecting dirt. Oh, I don't know what to say. Alright, let's just get So you're gonna promise us now that you'll help us clear the room. Mm. Do you wanna have a pretty girl's room? Yes. Okay, good. We're making some progress. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go. Up we go. Gosh, how do you live like this? Oh, heaven help her. This is your abode, is it? Yes. Get in there. Ugh. And hang your head in shame! Could you take your hair out your face, do you look a bit of a dope? <laughs> you're 16 years old. Yeah. And this is how your bedroom looks? Yes. How do you hope to get a girlfriend? <laughs> you meet a gorgeous girl. So you want to come to my house? What are you going to do? <laughs> so don't you think it's important that you organise yourself? Yes. You're growing to be a man now, you know. Uh -huh. You're behaving like a silly little boy. How much stuff on 100% are you going to throw out of this room? 90. Well, you're going to have a wonderful bedroom. How did it get like this? Just me having stuff given, given to me, me buying stuff over the years, not already getting taken, rid of it, whatever. We'll leave you to it. We need to regroup. To your hovel. Kim and Mike have seen enough. Overspending and undercleaning has led to a filthy living area, a horrible hallway, and bedrooms of bedlam. The Burns will have just one week to clean up, throw out, and start getting along. Ah! But before the family can start to mellow, Kim and Mike make time to steep all their issues. Kim, this house is madness. Oh, there's madness houses, dear. There's no organization. Oh, no. There's no structure. And all the toys. I know she's a little sweetie. We shouldn't need like 3,000 soft toys. It's not like the mother helps. She says she buys a month's food at a time, you buy a week at a time. A month perishes, goes off. But I'll tell you something I can't accept. What's that? I'm a modern woman, aren't I? You are. Mike, you know the second job she holds down the the unmentionables? Yes. I'm all woman. I've never needed anything like that in my life. Sorry. Too much woman. What did you say, dear? I said you're a lovely, lovely woman. The Burns family is buried under mountains of useless junk. You're throwing good money away. Even our queen doesn't behave like this. And the mess is making them mad. I've had it. After just one day, oh. Kim and Mike have seen enough. They're about to show the family that living in a mess makes even simple tasks much more difficult. It's time for the wake-up call. You are clearly being buried alive in your own junk. We found these clothes, which is more than you could do. I want you all to stand up, put those on as quickly as you can. Right now. Let's see how long it takes you to get dressed. When the clothes are right in front of you, getting dressed is pretty easy. And the whole family is almost dressed. Done. Kim, how long did that take them? Under one minute. Because we found your clothes for you. Take them off. We're going to show you how you actually live. Steve, start your engines. There we go. Bury them alive, Steve. Bury them alive. Let's see how long it takes you to get dressed. Rise and find your belongings! <laughs> Come on, family. Get out of the way! You can't do it! Oh, do you see how hard it is? Oh, it does take a long time when it's hidden, doesn't it? I got my wife's pants. <laughs> I think they suit look rather pretty in those, dear. Done. Kim, how long did that take them? To get dressed took a minute to find their clothes. It's taken ten minutes. Is it better to be organised than go through this every day and fighting with each other as well? Yes. yes. We have a lot of work to do still. Everyone back in the house. The Burns have learned that even simple tasks are harder when you're living under a mountain of mess. It was sort of like a wake-up call for me. If we continue to live the way that we're living, then that's what would happen with our clothes. The first step to clearing the chaos is having Drew make good on an earlier promise. You said, Kim, 90% of this is going, did you not? Yes, I did. Uh, did you mean it? Yes. Well, we'll soon see. This, I've marked it charity. If it's in good condition and you don't want it, let it go to the charity. One, two, three, go! <laughs> this really was your dumping ground, wasn't it? Yeah, basically. Don't stop working. <laughs> How long have you had all this stuff building up? Eight years. Oh, dear Lord. If you did this daily, you'd never get in this state ever again. Yeah. You honestly, once a week, whip it down, gone. That's no longer a dustbin, you know this. Phones, that's how I use them. Yes. 
Oh, hello, Mummy. Come in. Hey, what's going on? You're very proud of this boy. In under ten minutes, he's filled one and a half sacks to go in the dumpster. And all he kept off those shelves is this here. Should be proud of him because he's I'm kept shot. I think I'll faint. He's been a good boy. He's worked jolly hard. He's hurried as well. No, he's been a good boy. While Drew clears out his useless junk, Mike is showing Jamie how to organize things the family actually needs in the kitchen. Nothing in this home has a place. Your drawers. How do you find anything in here? You don't. No. Exactly. We're going to take all this stuff out, and you're going to start from scratch. Stuff that you're going to keep, you're going to install these in all your drawers. And then I'm going to give you some handy dandy organizers. Everything in here will have some sort of organization. Next, both the dog leashes and the keys need a place to. And the bottom line is, what did we just learn by doing all this? Everything in your home has a? Place. Yes. Thank you. No, thank you. Back in Drew's room, there's one more thing that catches Kim's eye. What do you do to this movie? Throwing ice creams at it, have you? Grime over the years, I don't Yes. Know. Now, simple cold water in it and cheap white vinegar. Watch, watch. What vinegar does is it cuts through, because vinegar's an acid, you know. Right, now a dryer cloth. Now watch. Now, honestly, lovey, this is how good it is. And you know your windows that are very dirty? Yeah. They'll come up just as nice, my love. If you haven't got any rags, use newspaper. Do you know that newspaper rolled up is what they used when I was a little girl. There wasn't much money. We were pretty poor folk. Okay. You can clean your shelves down with it, do your windows. Yeah. Honestly, love it. It's invaluable. Right, I'm back in half an hour. Don't, now, come on. Come on. I'm down to the dumpster. Having Kim go in my room, I made you feel ready to clean, get, get the get it done and over with. Just a minute. You throw out all your stuff. Yeah, basically. The Burns family have started to dig their lives out from under their monumental mess. We'll do the best we can, but yeah, that's all I can say. The clutter is everywhere, including the fridge. You bought so much food, the fresh stuff is going to go off before you can eat it. I have to be honest with you, just yesterday I threw $85 worth of meat. And I wonder how much of this is going to be thrown away as well. It's going to go green and rancid. Would you like to stay for dinner? Not no, dear. I want to live another year. I mean, look at all this. Three mayonnaises. Th three! You've already cut cucumber and you haven't even covered it. You've got ham coming out your ear holes. And cheese. Oh, it's on sale. What you buy six packs of, because it's half price, is not a bargain. Because the family rarely eat them, you'll end up throwing four packs away. And I have got you on that table, folks, that huge loaf. Do we agree that's half? Yes. No. <laughs> Take one of these each, make whatever you want. When you've made it, we'll see who eats the most. And whoever eats the least will have to help me clean this disgusting fridge. By using just some of the food that's already close to ending up in the garbage bin, Kim is going to show the family how wasteful they really are. I think I'm not, no. Shh, shh, shh. Cut all your ham. That's summer sausage, not ham. I beg your pardon? Summer sausage, not ham. How dare you? You've only taken out a third of it in one shelf of your fridge. And the rest is going to be off to when you get to the bottom because you couldn't possibly eat it all in a week. Three, two, one. Start eating! <laughs> <laughs> your gob's big enough to let all fit in. Keep eating! Eating a sandwich that's bigger than you is harder than it looks. Come on, stuff that sandwich in you. Five, four, three, two, one! Stop! I think you ate the less, my dear. I thought you'd eat more than you'd been a young man at your age. That is not very good. You're the loser, darling. You are cleaning the fridge. I don't have to clean the fridge for once. Yay, yay. First of all, lovey, you take everything out of that fridge. Then you'll take baking soda. It cleans, it sanitizes, it's wonderful. And you put equal amounts of that to water. It would maybe be a thick paste. It's safe, it doesn't scratch. I'd get then a damp washcloth, then dip it in your bowl of paste, go right over the inside of the fridge, and it will smell so good. You see, look at this dirt here, it's horrible, lovey. Then you'll take white toothpaste, and I put a weeny bit. It's so quick, my love, watch, look. And a toothbrush gets to all the crevices that you can't get to. It's a lovely, just a minty clean. So get on with it, my love. The fridge I will work on and try to get it clean and organized. Drew's got his special assignment, but it looks like Sam hasn't quite figured hers out yet. To me, it's really hard to part with things. I like my little doodads and whatnot. Samantha doesn't like to let anything go. She gets so attached, and everything is cute. She doesn't want to let it go. 
The entire family are obvious pack rats, and it's time to let go. Kim and Mike are putting about 50 of the family's personal belongings on a conveyor belt. How many of those items they remember will determine how many they keep. What you don't remember will go to charity. If you don't remember it, you can't want it, can you? It wasn't that precious, was it? Start up the conveyor belt. Here we go! Have a good look, have a good look. Thank you. Turn around one at a time, starting with mummykins. What was on that conveyor? Some sheets that were blue and white. Right. Ski pants and a matching jacket. That is. That's it. Samantha, you're up. Two brown teddy bears, a reindeer, green pants, a gift bag with two toys hanging out of it. Yep. Flipping it. Drew? Drew, come on, love. What did you see? Got a lot of junk. Oh, so you get nothing. You don't yeah. want to name anything you saw? No. Right, good. Right. Charity. Daddy Kins, what did you see? Uh, a blue carry-on bag. Yep. That's about it. That's it. That's Turn it. round. Of all we put down there, it's all you want. So 80% is going to charity. Are you agreed? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, family. I'm proud of you. Back in the house you go. When the conveyor belt was going by, I saw things I hadn't seen in a couple of years, and I thought, I don't need that. I don't need this. I don't need that. So far, Kim and Mike have taught the Burns that a little regular cleaning can go a long way. I guess all the crevices that you can't get to. That everything in their house should have a place. Yes! Only buy what you need, and that if you don't need it, you should probably throw it out. Don't stop working! But is it enough for the family to survive the final challenge? Burns family, Kim and I have your final challenge. You've got to finish this house off. When we come back, we want the house to be totally finished. Spotless. A place for everything and everything in its place. And if that's the case, then it's party time. We're going to have a party for our mentionable, uh, um, the business, you know. Pop. Kim. I'm, I only said unmentionable. I know, but you don't have to show it. You can just say the word unmentionable. Well, <coughs> unmentionables. You know, you know, yes, OK. Burns family, this is your final challenge. Kim, let's go. Let's go. I think the hardest thing for me and my family is looking at everything. Where do I start? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. So I find it really hard to clean, clean the whole thing. Well, these are from last Christmas. We can get rid of these. Oh, these are so good, though. A lot of work to get done. You need to hurry up, move faster. You need to stop talking. With only a day left before Kim and Mike return, tensions are running high for everyone. Well, almost everyone. Grandma? What are you doing? Come on, let's go. We gotta get this finished. Give me the whistle. I prefer not to clean, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? We're not gonna be ready, you know that? Told you. Go into your room. Never mind being nosy. Go. I'm cleaning here. You need to organize your room. Upstairs! Off the couch. Get upstairs. Get working. Now! I'm not kidding, Samantha. I've been waiting a long, long time to actually live like a normal life. This is our last chance because we can't live like this anymore. What's going on? A break. A break. I'm not impressed. Look at this mess. And it's you not just... my fault. You keep buying and buying. Don't be mouthy. I want to come back in here and find you playing because I'd be very upset. And Dad, he will just go tell you to do it, and you usually do. Come on, let's go. Come on, move, move, move. Come on. We're running out of time. You gotta hurry up. It looks like Daddy's little girl is finally pitching in. Stuff him in. Stuff him in. I mean, you got in there. Look at the difference. <laughs> what difference? Yeah. I think I'm gonna donate this nun suit. Let someone else have some fun. Coach keeps. My baby book, OK, I'll keep that. So close, we just need to keep on working. The Burns are finally working together as a functional family, but will they be ready in time? Kim and Mike are en route to see if they've dug themselves free, and friends and family are hoping the home is ready for a party of unmentionable proportions. Up first, though, it's the theater of shame. Burns family and friends, we don't want you to forget where you came from. Uh -huh. We call this the theater of shame. <laughs> oh, the hallway. Oh, 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 oh underwear. Oh, 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 Samantha, what a lovely room. <laughs> Samantha's room went from a disorganized and cluttered zoo 
to a happy home for her and her favorite stuffed animals. Now this is a young lady's room. Drew, what do you have to say oh, for yourself? That's disgusting. Hey, what are you doing? Drew somehow transformed the garbage pile he called a bedroom into a cool and clean spot to hang out in. Wow. Good one, Drew. Oh, well work. Done. The lovely family room. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> And the living room, which was once completely buried beyond belief, is no longer a massive embarrassment. In fact, it's ready for mom's party. You put some work in here, haven't you? Now, family, promise us that this will never happen again. You got right. it. Yep. We promise. Let's go. Let's go into the Come unmentionable on. party. This is wonderful. Unbelievable. That place looks fantastic. I'm so proud of every one of them. Oh, my, look at this. There's a floor. The floor is clear. To someone else, that's a normal thing, and they may not be able to appreciate it, but for me personally, it's huge. Will you be able to curb your shopping down? I actually went to the grocery store, and I spent less than $11 for the first time. Nice. Well, oh, well done. Now that the house is clean, Catherine can have people over and house parties for work. It's going to be fantastic for her business. And thanks to a total family effort, it looks like business is booming. Then we have this gorgeous piece. It's uh, $49.95. Oh, and it's over there. Wow. Would you like to feel that Mike, one? Mike, at the hotel, <laughs> you, you knock the door and I'm. Woo! <laughs> 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 okay. I'm the large one because I'm. Uh, yes, you're large. Yes, oh, yes. yes. It's been a long week for the Burns, but in the end, it's worth it. I think as a family, we really realize how much of a team we really can work together if we all plug in at the same time and it isn't one person cleaning. Kim's a lot of fun. I've learned that to get rid of the stuff you don't need. From now on, I'm going to clean it weekly or daily. I will try to keep the house clean. I would like to invite my friends from school and stuff to come over. This experience has brought my family uh, really close, a lot closer than they were. It's a nice thing to see, working as a team. What's this for? What is this for? No, 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 you're not showing me anything. I'm showing you everything you want to see. Oh, goodbye, family, goodbye. goodbye. Domestic diplomats Kim Woodburn and Mike Shalou are on a serious mission. Their goal, to identify and confront messy and disorganized families and bring some sanity back into their lives and homes. Welcome to the Butlers. Melody is a stay-at-home mom. Dad Steve is an office manager. And they have two children, Shauna and Aiden. And Grandma Jean, she also lives with the family. Kim and Mike are on their way to teach this family the importance of a good night's sleep and how unrest in a house can lead to no rest at all. My husband and daughter and son don't pitch in. With me being at home all day, they think that this is my job <laughs> to do everything. But Grandma Jean's no slacker. Hers is the only clean room in the house. I look at their bed and I think, oh. All the other butler bedrooms are anything but relaxing. They're untidy, they're messy, and they're completely full of junk. And Shauna's lethargic attitude towards cleaning up means she sleeps on the couch. I just really get lazy and I never come around to do it all, so I just leave it, yeah. Just leaving it is something that runs in the family. Steve's home improvement to-do list never gets done. Because Steve is roughing hockey teams all the time, we hardly ever see him, and he's not around to finish any jobs. <laughs> this house is a mess, but yet he don't do nothing. Say la vie. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I think. But Grandma disagrees, especially when Mom and Dad have a sleepover every night with their eight-year-old son, because his bed has somehow become a garbage bin. How can a married couple, you know, da, 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 uh, with kids in the bed? <laughs> Mom can't hide behind the laughter anymore. She's decided to get the family organized and put all the bad sleeping habits to bed. She's called Kim and Mike to give her family a much-needed rude awakening. Good morning, Butler family. Kim and Mike here. We hear that no one's getting a good night's sleep. We're not surprised your sleep arrangements are insane. Your mother's the only one that's doing anything. This is your rude awakening. Oh, come Let's on. Go. Here we go again. Come on, the you know. Stupid families come again. Hello, Butlers. One more of us. Where have you been, Tip? It's about time. Oh, Just breeze that here, you know. Oh, my God. Have you seen the state of this, have you? Butler family, this is absolutely a disgrace. There's nothing to smile about. Steve, you are the man of the house. Yes, I am. On, on paper. Oh, don't give this no. <laughs> stupid babble. We're too old for this rubbish. Yeah. But obviously, you're not doing your fair share around here, either. There's a lot of unfinished projects in this house. 
True? I, I, I'm good at starting, and I'm not so good at finishing. Ah, oh, there you go. Let's just go over the sleeping arrangements here. Please. Where do you sleep? On the couch. On the couch. Do you have a bed? Yeah, in the basement. Why don't you sleep in it? It's uh, always covered with clothes. Laziness. Now, where do you sleep again? I like my mom and dad. You're eight years old, and you sleep with your mom and dad. I've heard of two or three, but eight, dear. You'll be 18 before you pitch him out. <laughs> You'll be married. <laughs> it's totally wrong. I want to see the rest of this house. Come on, Kim. Butlers, this come way, on, please. Come on. Steve, what there's no floors. Th this is a work in progress. Oh, work How long in progress. have you been in progress? How many years? Mm, uh, months. Oh, months. shut months. up. Let's come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Watch out for Nanny. Make sure Nanny's OK. Up first, it's Aiden's room. It's full of his toys, just like every other room in the house. Aiden, I wouldn't like this room either. It's like there's a hurricane that went off in here. Are you responsible for this? Yeah. Do you see? Where's the bed? Where's the? Oh, there's oh, a mat. There's... there's a mattress there. You use your son's bedroom as a closet? Well, because our closet's broken. Who should be keeping your room tidy? Uh, me. Who should be fixing that? Uh, Dad. And to be fair to Aiden, you can't be surprised he sleeps with you. Where's the boy supposed to go? How can the boy use the bed when he can't even see the bed? <laughs> oh, it's your dust, you know. <laughs> This room. Go come on, on come Aiden, on, let's, let's go. Sleep. You need to get some sleep. Up next, it's Mom and Dad's room. Well, Mom, Dad, and Aiden's room. This is the boudoir, is it? Cover that child's ears. Aiden, come here, please. Sorry, I had to do this. Kim has to talk to your Mom and Keep Dad. Keep those ears covered. <laughs> now listen to me. Horizontal jogging. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when? The odd time. With him there? No. <laughs> Where does he go, dear? Sometimes if he falls asleep on the couch. It's not conducive to something. No. Oh, darling. <laughs> Kim. Oh, Kim. Kim. I think bedroom. they get the point. Uncover them. OK. You all right, dear? You all right, Ian? Yeah? What are okay. you smiling at? <laughs> Shauna, I want to see your sleeping arrangements. Oh, boy. No one's sleeping in this house. It's a whole lot of chaos. The chaos continues downstairs in Shauna's room, a room she doesn't sleep in. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, dear oh. Lord, above me. You'd rather sleep on a sofa than sleep in a pretty pink room for the sake of two armfuls of clothes. I find that crackers. Why don't you move it? Lazy. Do you get a good night's sleep out there? Mm, not really. No one's getting any good sleeps in this house because these beds are a mess. Get out. Come on, cutie. Kim and Mike have seen enough. Messy bedrooms that aren't used for sleeping, unfinished projects, and lazy kids who leave their stuff all over the house have turned the butler's home into a disorganized nightmare. But before the family can get to work and sleep, Kim and Mike need to dream up their plan of attack. That daughter, come on. You know, she's 16. I have seen her shower room, and I'm getting her down there, and I'm going to paint all that mildew off and show her how to do it. It's very unhygienic, and it's bad for your health, you know. The major issue in this family, though, are their sleeping arrangements. Oh, they don't get a good night's sleep. Of course they don't. How can they continue with their day? You know, speaking about beds, I have not had a good night's sleep in such a long time. My oh, not a problem. Come and sleep at my place. And listen to me, I'm not going to sleep with you. I'm famous, you know, and men ogle me. Pardon? Unfinished renos and bedrooms that are more like storage rooms have the Butler family tossing and turning all night. These beds are a mess. Eight-year-old Aiden's room is such a mess, he still sleeps with mom and dad. He'll be 18 before you pitch him out. He'll be married. After just one day, Kim and Mike have seen enough. Since the butlers don't mind sleeping in mass hysteria every night, Kim and Mike have come up with alternate sleeping arrangements to show the family how important a good night's sleep really is. I think this is the only way this family is going to realize that they have to appreciate their bedrooms. Get them in here. Right. Family, <laughs> butlers. It's time for a wake-up call that's all about going to sleep. Because you've got no regard for your beds. You don't care where you sleep. You can sleep in this garage for the night, dear. How would you like those apples? Why do we have to sleep out here? To teach you a lesson, and when the cold gets to you and the spiders go down your throat overnight, Jim. you'll be glad to get your bed together, won't Jim. you? OK, file into bed, Find kids. Find your bed. It's going to be a very cold night tonight. You're getting no more bedding. Good night. Good night, kids. Being cold is the least of their worries tonight. Kim and Mike have a few more surprises to show the family just how valuable a peaceful sleeping environment really is. And as if the cold and damp aren't enough to spoil their sleep...
After another restless night, Kim and Mike give the butlers one more wake-up call. Good morning, butler, butler family. family. What are you doing there? How did you wind up in between Mom and Dad again? Oh, too trouble. You are in trouble. Go back on your own Go side. Go on your side. Or was it nice and cold and, shall I say, noisy? It was hard. Was it? Yeah. It's cold, damp, and miserable. <laughs> Bottom line, family, your sleep is very, very important. And you have to value your bedrooms. That's your haven of rest. It's true. It's time to get your bedrooms in order. It's not too far of a stretch of how we've been sleeping in the past. So here's hoping uh, we can change that. Kim knows this family needs baby steps. She's starting with the reluctant Shauna in the downstairs bathroom. You've got a very tiny shower room, which most people have. If you have no windows here, that's your problem. You've got these. Do these work? No. There's no way the steam's going to go out. You're going to get all this grout messed up all the time with all the slime and scum. Now, let me show you. Pure bleach. I put gloves on. Now, be careful when you're using pure bleach. Keep your face away from it and use a soft toothbrush. Because if you use a stiff toothbrush, it'll sput in your face. Yeah. Look at the dirt. Ugh. Well, you're going to have to do this once a month if you don't get that vent fixed. You put that vent on as soon as you step in this, and it takes all that steam out. And if it doesn't, my love, we're stuck with what I'm doing now. You'll see it instantly change. The brush and this pure, cheap old bleach, don't buy a dear one. Look, look, already, this is immediate. Look at the difference in this side and this side. I'll leave this on about another half an hour, then I'll come and rinse it off with water. Bob's your uncle, my dear, we are done. But it doesn't really like, bug me since I'm the only one in there, and I'm only in there for like five minutes at a time. It looks like Shauna still needs some convincing. And according to Grandma, Dad needs a little kick in the pants too. He doesn't do nothing. I don't know whether I should say it or not. He might throw me out. Mike agrees with Grandma, so he's teaching Steve how to organize his schedule to help make sure all the unfinished projects get done. I need you to tell me what's going on this week. Roughing, I've got Aiden's got hockey, Shauna's got ringette, and probably some yard cleanup. There's a lot of unfinished projects in this house. Yes. And so where do you have all that stored? It's in the, I call it my vault. Just no scheduling, there's no planning outside of your head? Pretty much, yes. This is going to be your official Butler family calendar. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So use this calendar. Hopefully in turn, help us be more organized and not be so stressed out with you know, how the house is. While Steve starts making plans to finish projects and organize his family, Kim helps mom keep her whites really white. Every two or three months, give your whites a real treat. We got your bath and I've run warm water. I'm putting in laundry detergent. Now, mm -hmm. be generous, that's three. Yes. So I'm dropping the whites in. I'm going to leave this in here 48 hours. All the dirt you think you've got out, you haven't. Not in whites, you haven't. It's the it gets grey. Yeah. And it seeps to the top. Then whip it down to your washing machine, put it in. It is so... You'll see the white. You go, when you bring it out, it's a blue white. You go, good Lord. I thought they were clean. They're really clean. Now, my dear, the water's still in. Mm -hmm. Now, I pull out the plug and I take this rough towel and I go round this bath to catch the top bits. Oh. I go, and you're rubbing, yeah. but this powder's enough. Just run some water yeah. and swish with this, swish. Your bath is... Be I mean, you go... And then if you want to buff it with a duster, nice. if the guests are coming, it sparkles. The butlers are a family whose messy house is messing with their sleep. And you have to value your bedrooms. Shauna isn't pulling her weight yet, and Aiden thinks the entire house is his playground. So Kim has a little surprise that will teach him to clean up his act. She's put his toys behind bars. It's not been near your bedroom. And that's what I picked up all over the house. Because you know why? You're too lazy to tidy it up, aren't you? That face will not win me over. This is going on here, my love. And I am locking it, my darling. Now, when you cleaned and organised your room, you can have these back. Let's go and see the pigsty of a bedroom. What are you smiling for? This is not funny. This is appalling. Hundreds of books. Well, how many of those would you want to read again? I'd say, like, 20. You've got one tiny bookshelf. To be fair, he couldn't get all them on there anyway. No, if he tries, no. he hasn't got the shelving, has he? Now, look, this is for your dirty washing. 
But I think at your age, you should be able to put your washing in there, shouldn't you? At least Mum knows where it is. I've brought you a little bin. Always put a bag in the bin. With this, you just scoop it up, take it down and replace it with another one. And do yourself a favour, keep several in the bottom here folded, it's quicker. Kim is challenging Aiden to clear out some of his mess. When he does, she'll let him get some of his favourite toys back from under lock and key. If you don't do it, do you know where you're going to live for the next six months? Mm. In the dog kennel. Aiden is in the doghouse with Kim. And if Shauna doesn't start helping out more, Grandma thinks she'll be joining him. No, you haven't done too much. No, you haven't done too much. Shauna should do more than what she does. But she gets away with it, so she doesn't do nothing. Right? And despite threats, warnings, and tips, Mum is still the only one doing her share. Nobody helps out. They think that this is my job. I'm home all day. That's my duty, <laughs> to do everything. Believe it or not, that is Mum's mad face. But Kim and Mike aren't hey, so hey, giddy. Hey, 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 you guys, what's going on here? Down here, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? What are you, what, what, what are you doing? Watching TV. Enough's enough. Let's go, Get family. Off Let's go. Before Enough's I enough. Pick you up the bum. I can't believe you're doing this to your mother. I guess you could say I spoiled them. And now I realize the damage I've done. <laughs> Come on, family. Get line up. Here. Line up. Line up. Once the family dons their protective gear, it's Mum's chance to get a little revenge. Your mother is doing 95% of the work in this house. You know it's true. It's, it's wrong. It's you wrong. Know. It's absolutely wrong. This has got to change. It's time we clean up your attitudes. We leave that to you, should we, Mummy? Okay. Last thumb. Because the family doesn't clean the house, Mom gets to clean the family. Clean up the attitudes. Spray them, honey. Spray them. Be brutal. Yes. <laughs> Look at Father hiding behind the children. Did you ever see more cowardice in your life? <laughs> That's enough. It's a good way to vent it all and show them that I meant business. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. Good. That was probably long overdue, I think, maybe on Melody's part. Hopefully they'll learn their lesson. So far, Kim and Mike have taught the butlers that bedrooms are for sleeping, not storage. He hasn't got the shelving, has he? That you have to schedule your time. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that actually finishing odd jobs around the house will help keep the family organized. They know what they need to do. But will they be able to meet the final challenge? <laughs> family, listen. Your bedrooms have to be sorted. Yes. And Steve, you have to finish these jobs that are unfinished in your home. Like, it's a disgrace. I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. You will do it. You'll have me to reckon with. And I'm like a grizzly bear with hemorrhoids when I start. Kim, Kim. Bottom line is, you need mummy and daddy time. The only way you're going to have mummy and daddy time is if you get out of the room. You need to have some friends over to have a little party, don't you, buddy? Well, you do your bedroom. And if you bring a friend over, regular basis, you do your lovely room, bring your girlfriends over. Your mum and dad don't think would object. I haven't let them have slumber parties the way they used to. This is your final challenge. Now get back in that house. Kim, are you okay? You think they can get do it? Get it. I'm sick of looking at you. And you get in, you ugly devil. Come on, you get guys. In. I know you can do it. I don't know what to say. Well, I know. They're, they're bone flame and idle. Expect nothing, then you won't be upset, will you? Come on. Keep that okay. You sure you want to keep that little thing? Kim and Mike are giving the butlers just 24 hours to get their house ready for a slumber party. Dad is finally doing his part, but Shauna, she's another story. What are you doing? On the computer. What about this stuff here? 10 minutes, I'll do it. You don't, though. Yes, I will. You don't need to be on that. The butlers have been working all week to finally be able to get some solid shut-eye. They've learned how important their bedrooms really are. That's your haven of rest. It's true. With just one day left before Kim and Mike return, it's Mum who's still leading the cleaning charge. Aiden is also pitching in, and even Dad is on board. But is there enough time for Shauna to realize that she needs to help out too? Your mother tries hard because she's got a lot to do. You yeah, know? I know. And I feel bad because I can't help her. I just can't yeah, do you don't have to, hard work anymore. It's us that have to do it. I can't do much about it, can I? No. Leave it to Grandma Jean to finally get through to Shauna. My mom cleans the whole house. We don't really do anything. I just realized that. Yeah. So now, 
the entire family is on board. That's all. Thanks, Ron. And just like Kim promised, Aiden is getting his toys back. With some final touches still underway, Kim and Mike are en route to see if the butlers have finally got it all together. Mike, do you think they've sorted this bed situation out? Well, Kim, they have no choice. Their final challenge is a sleepover. As Kim and Mike roll in, so do friends and family. They're all eager to see if the house is ready for the long-awaited slumber party. But before that, a reminder of what used to be. It's the dreaded theater of shame. Father, family, and friends, welcome to the theater of shame. Here's the unfinished projects, disgusting floors for poor Granny. The stairs and floor went from an incomplete hazard to a beautifully finished entranceway for the home. Very nice. The floors are done. Yes. Now whose disgusting room's this? Aiden. Hurricane Aiden. This is gross. Aiden's room went from being a massive storage bin to being a room he'll actually use and sleep in. New painting, new bedspread. Oh. Aiden, this is a young man's room. Oh, this. Oh, the love nest. Dear, dear. Oh, make you sick, wouldn't it? Mom and Dad's room is now a romantic oasis just for Mom and Dad. I think the magic's back in this room, that's for sure. <laughs> Here's Shauna's like, disgusting room. Shauna, that's gross. How do you sleep in that? I know. And Shauna finally transformed the basement into a cool place where she can be happy to have her friends over. It's just lovely. Organized, structured, peaceful. Father, family, you've come a long way. I think it's time to party. I think you've earned it, haven't you? Yeah. Let's go. Wow, Aiden, I can't believe your room. Uh, yeah, like, I feel like a friend. We could both, like, sleep on the floor. And he'll know where to go come bedtime and not to, uh, not to be sleeping with us anymore, for sure. Whoa, that looks great. Oh, I can so see nice. the floor. I can see the floor. We bed. can sit on your bed now. Oh, I know. It's not dirty anymore. It's, I can sleep in my room now. Do you know, family, it's been smashing. What do you think of the house? Awesome. It's great. So much, so much better. They didn't need all that stuff. It's too bad they didn't get rid of it before, but they've done it now, so it's great. They all worked very hard, which was lovely. You're a smashing family. We're going to love and leave you to your party. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Now I feel that they understand what I was going through, and they're going to help a lot more. I'm not embarrassed for people to come over anymore. So yeah, I'll keep it up. If your bed's made, it makes a difference. That's the honest to God truth. Okay, cheers. Cheers. The slumber party is a go. The kids have their friends over, and now mom and dad can have some alone time. Steve and I will spend more time together as a couple now that Aiden has his own bedroom, and I think we'll connect more. I'll we'll, we'll make the most of that for sure. Hmm. <laughs> no more filming. <laughs> Thank you.